Hello, I'm here with Doreen Firestone, and perhaps some of you may remember her from some of the spiritual programs she's done with us here at St. Bridget's, most notably Prodigal Daughter. It's great to have you with us, Doreen, to introduce a, a new program that we hope to be able to develop here at St. Bridget's called Already Home. I have to explain what that title is all about and how we came up with that title. Looking at our spiritual life as a journey towards God really is a journey home where God exists. But where exactly does God exist? So often we think of God as being way up there in heaven and our spiritual journey is to go home to God in heaven. Like he's way up there and we'll never make it. And we get discouraged and we figure, oh, well, only the real spiritual holy people get to find God. And the rest of us grunts sort of squirm around on the earth and we'll never find him. But the truth is that God dwells within us, not in some infinite distance locked up there in heaven, but he came to earth truly as Jesus. And Jesus dwells within us. That's the whole point of our baptism. We live in Christ. Christ lives in us. And if our spiritual journey is to connect with God, it's to connect with the God who dwells within, Jesus. As we find ourselves then in who we really are, in Jesus, like Jesus, beloved sons and daughters of the Father. But you know, as we look at that spiritual journey, we might look and see, well, why is it so hard for us to connect with God in that way? Uh, why is it so hard to make that inner journey? Maybe for some of us, there's fear or there's all kinds of vulnerability that, or even disbelief that God could really radically love us because we're so aware of our faults. We're so aware of our problems and our uh, limitations. And God has embraced all of that in Jesus. God so loved this world inside of me that he sent Jesus. And that's the whole good news. Otherwise, the gospel is not good news. It's just another coping mechanism of how to deal with my own inadequacies, which I may or may not ever solve in this life. And then I just uh, hope for the best. I hope God loves me, but I don't think he really does. But he already does. He, he's made his home in me. And that's why we call this program Already Home. If this sounds so very theological for you, let, let me boil it down to my favorite movie, um, The Wizard of Oz. Remember the story of The Wizard of Oz? There is Dorothy and she's on a journey homeward. And on her journey homeward, she wants to meet the wizard who has the power to send her back to Kansas. But on the way she meets the uh, Scarecrow and Tin Man and Cowardly Lion. And they're all looking for something. Scarecrow is looking for a brain and Tin Man for a heart. And, Cowardly Lion for Courage. And when they get to the end of their journey, when they get to finally meet the wizard, what does the wizard say to the uh, Scarecrow and to Tin Man and to Cowardly Lion? He says, you already possessed the power. You already possessed a brain, a heart, courage. Those things already dwell within you. Then Dorothy, of course, says, well, <laughs> that's good that you could give the Scarecrow a diploma and, and Cowardly Lion a, a testimonial heart and, and Tin Man a badge of courage, I mean, and Lion a badge of courage, but there's nothing in that bag for me. And the wizard says, you already had the power to go home, but you had to realize something first. And so uh, Scarecrow says to Dorothy, well, what did you learn? And Dorothy says, I learned that the next time I start looking for happiness, I won't go any further than my own backyard. For if it wasn't there, then I never really lost it in the first place. In some sense, I guess what Dorothy is saying is that home dwells within as she clicks her heels and says, there's no place like home. Going back to Kansas. Well, our journey is really going back to that place where we are our true self. And Doreen, I'm so happy that you've come up with this wonderful <laughs> presentation of music and drama and and, and your own personal sharing of yeah. talking about the discovery of our true self, where God exists, where God dwells. 
Maybe you could tell us a little bit about this wonderful evening. By the way, it is going to be, I should say this right off the bat, it's going to be on Friday evening, September 20th at 7.30 p.m. over in uh, the school uh, chapel. So that's Friday, September 20th, 7.30 p.m., right in the chapel of um, St. Bridget's Our Lady of Hope School. So Doreen, tell us a little bit about uh, this great, wonderful thing you've put together, this holy pilgrimage. Just from what we were just saying, it just, I don't know, it just opens up my heart and says, wow, you must have been there with me when I was trying to figure out what I was writing. Um, it's really going to be a pilgrimage, a pilgrimage of self-discovery and recovery of um, the journey, the arduous, very important, eternally important journey to finding out who I really am. Uh, you know, you're talking about The Wizard of Oz. I love that movie. I love that movie. Um, and I'm thinking about, you know, the gifts these, these, these people, these characters had, especially Dorothy. She had that power to go home. I had this voice. I was trained to do it. I got into shows. It was what I was expected to do. But I never really believed in it because I, it was never mine. And really, everybody has a voice, whether it's an opera voice or not trained or just as a human being to express yourself. If you, if you can't express yourself, how do you know who you really are? And if you don't embrace who you are, you don't have a voice. So this is a really a, a call to myself to be who I am, but it's a call to other people that I want to help people, that I want us to come together as a community because our church needs this so desperately. We need to feel at home. There's been things that have happened that, are, that have, people have not felt at home. And if we could feel as lady, if we could feel that we have a voice, that we know who we are, that's going to be a healing agent. So there's a really a huge reason even beyond our individual selves to finding our own voice. That is so incredible because you think about the church as being a collection of people, if they're living authentically, that is living, finding their true voice, finding who they really are as beloved children of the Father, then all of the garbage that divides us, that separates us, that gets in the way, all of that could be easily dissolved. That's called the kingdom of God, yeah. which exists here, not just up there in heaven, Jesus says the kingdom of God is here. And we're hoping that we could lead others to discover that kingdom in this holy pilgrimage. Um, hopefully you'll be able to join us. Now you've done this uh, program, this presentation before, you said. Yes, I have. Wow. Well, I'm glad you're going to be able to share it with us. I am too. I'm excited. Well, we're excited too. So hope to see you then on Friday evening, September 20th at 7.30 p.m. over at St. Bridget's, Our Lady of Hope School and our school chapel. God bless you all.